Hey guys, it's John Hare from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this awesome little amplifier, the Wong's 2204HW 50 watts all tube hand wired guitar amplifier. I think this amp sounds absolutely awesome and perhaps you'll agree with me if you enjoyed the tones of the intro of this video. Now, if you haven't heard of Wong's amplifiers before, they're a small family run company from China that build all of their amplifiers by hand in their custom shop. I also own the HD15, which is more of a high gain amplifier. I did a bunch of videos with that amplifier already, and I highly recommend checking out my full demo review. I'm gonna put a link down here and up here as well. This is also a very cool amplifier, but today we're gonna to focus on the 2204HW. So the Wong's amplifiers are built with a lot of love and care, but they are still very reasonably priced. But don't let the price tags fool you. The build quality on these things is just insane. As the name suggests, the 2204HW is actually a hand-wired amplifier as opposed to having PCB inside. PCB is something you very often see with amplifiers, especially the more affordable amplifiers. Anyway, so I'm super stoked to have this amplifier in my studio, and now let's go and explore what this amplifier has to offer. As you may have already guessed, this amplifier was heavily inspired by the Marshall JCM800 2204 from the 70s, so by design, it's a very simple and elegant amplifier with a big vintage tone. And as you can see, I have the beautiful white version, but this also comes in black and you can also change the color of the cloth on the front to black. I really like this white version though and how the contrast is to the other amps in my collection. I think it stands out very nicely with the unique colors. Since it's a 50 watt amplifier, it has more than enough power and headroom for my personal setting. It sounds truly glorious if you're into that big vintage British tone. The amplifier is fitted with two EL34s in the power section and three 12AX7s in the preamp section. So it's not really a high gain amplifier. This amp excels at clean and low to mid gain crunch tones. Now that doesn't mean that this amplifier isn't capable of gorgeous high gain tones, but to achieve those levels of gain, you're gonna need to put some pedals in front, but we'll get to that in a minute. Now this amplifier has two inputs. We have a low and a high sensitivity input. And the low sensitivity input is very well suited for clean tones with a lot of headroom. So let's take a listen to the low sensitivity input right now with some beautiful clean tones using my PRS SC58 with the 5708 pickups. And I know a lot of you guys like your clean tones with a little bit of reverb. So for these tones, I'm also using my Laney Black Country Customs Reverb Secret Path pedal up front. And on the pedal, I have the mode switch set to the spring reverb setting. Now the 2204 does not have an effects loop, so that's something to keep in mind, but with clean tones, a pedal up front sounds absolutely fine. Now I am pushing the power tubes to some very mild overdrive, so basically on the verge of breakup, just how I like it for my clean tones. And for these tones, I'm going through an Ohnhammer impulse response from the Revolution series, the classic two mix from the 412 MRBW M75 GNR package for those vintage Marshall greenback tones. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. Thank mm -hmm. you. That sounded absolutely great. We'll get to some more dirty tones very soon, but first let's take one more look at the amplifier. So the amplifier has a power and a standby switch on the left side, and then a presence control and your standard three band EQ. And then on the right, you have the master volume and preamp volume controls. And the preamp volume control is basically your gain control. I'm really loving the classic crunch tones that I'm getting out of this amplifier. 
and I think that this amplifier really excels at those tones. So let's take a listen to some more of those types of tones right now. And this time I'm going to use my PRS SC Zach Myers guitar, the semi hollow one with the humbuckers, and it still has the stock pickups in it. And we're going through the same own hammer cabinet as before, but this time we're on the bold mic mix for a little bit of a different flavor this time. All right, let's go ahead and check it out right now. Here we go. Wow, that sounded pretty great. This amplifier just works so well with those types of riffs, very cool. And do keep in mind that for these tones, there's no post-processing going on at all. So you're really hearing the pure amplifier. Now I know some of you are probably asking yourself, can this amplifier do heavy rock or metal? Well, the answer is definitely yes. Now for high gain tones, you'll probably need to use some sort of boost or overdrive pedal in front of the amplifier but this amplifier works very well with pedals indeed, so that is great. Okay, so now we're gonna check out some high gain rock or metal tones using my ESP LTD NW44 with the bare knuckle aftermath pickup in the bridge position. And for the boost pedal, I'm gonna use my Laney Black Country Custom Steel Park boost pedal, which is actually a great boost pedal. And this is basically a kind of souped up tube screamer pedal. And the settings that I'm using are quite simple. The level is turned up all the way, gain is turned down all the way, and bass and treble are set to uh, neutral, so at five. And we're also going through an Ownhammer Revolution impulse response, but this time we're going through the 412 trad cabinet with the V30 speaker option for a more modern tone. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. Well, that sounded absolutely huge. Very, very awesome. And for more extreme styles, you could definitely push the amp even further, that's for sure. So overall, I'm really enjoying this amplifier and I can highly recommend it if you're looking for a boutique, hand-wired, classic sounding amplifier with a very reasonable price. I'm gonna put a link to the Wong's web store in the description, so do check that out. And they do ship worldwide, which is worth noting, and that's very awesome and very convenient. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the amplifier and also drop a like and a subscribe. And you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Cheers. Yeah.